Firstly, it's really important to wind down before bed to get your body ready to go to sleep, to get into a calming state. So I recommend not eating for at least a couple of hours before bed. And if you really need to snack and to snack on something that's light and not going to result in a spike in blood sugar, so very low in the carbohydrates, maybe something that's uh, enriched with protein or good fat and that's even easily digestible. So maybe even like a nut milk that's um, maybe you know sweetened with some stevia or other sugar alcohols that don't create spikes in blood sugar. Next, uh, it's, it's a really great idea to sleep early, um, ideally before 11 p.m. The ideal time for the liver and for the body itself to regenerate is between 11 and 2. So if you can get to bed early and, uh, and have a good night's sleep, it's really beneficial. Thirdly, it's important to keep your room dark to help stimulate melatonin, which will help you sleep. So keep those blinds closed. Go to sleep in a dark space that when the sun starts to come up, you aren't waking up or awoken by, um, by sunlight. Next, and something that I like to do often, is to find myself in a really happy space before bed. So away from the computer, away from bright light. I like to think about what I'm grateful for for the day. I go and scan my day and I think about what's made me most happy. And I do a few deep breaths. And you know, similar to some of the other points I mentioned, this just gets the body ready to sleep, to feel really peaceful. And, you know, I, I start my journey, my, my, my nighttime journey, my, my, um, my unconscious journey uh, in a really beautiful way and uh, in a really um, nice and calm space, which is really important. I also recommend keeping cell phones away. Uh, if you're if you can, absolutely can't and you want you know you want to use some kind of sleep tracker or health tracker, which a lot of people like to do, I recommend you turning your phone on airplane mode. Um, but if you can and if you really want to use an alarm clock, uh, find one that plugs in. And if you can avoid using an alarm clock and just rely on your natural rhythms and sleep wake cycle, then I recommend actually not using any alarm clock because what happens is your alarm goes off in the morning and it automatically turns your system into um, a flight response, a fight or flight response, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but um, when you know when we when we wake ourselves up in that kind of way, we're stimulating stress. So we're waking up, we're disrupting our sleep, and we're waking up in a stressful state, and that's a really poor way to start your day.